What's up, Hoy? Um, seeing K Show back in action. <laughs> it's been a couple of years since you actually posted a show, and I wanted to kind of get something out there to show the fans and all the people that have been messaging messaging us and saying, "Where are you guys at? What are you guys gonna do?" Because um, things have just been so crazy. We've been actually getting messages saying that we're bandwagon fans, which we are not. Um, I've been following UH football ever since I was in the womb. My mom used to press me up against the TV, and I used to watch UH when they were wearing models and throwing rocks with no pads. So, get that right. Other than that, I uh, I actually moved to North Carolina with my family, and enlisted in the military. Um, I'm here at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, just doing the thing, holding down Hawaii. You know, UH Colt Brennan. <laughs> And it's been exciting. Um, I've been following UH, even though I've been on the mainland for the past couple of years, and I'm I'm really liking the progression. And it's it's just incredible to see that the young guys from the 07, 06 season actually uh, stepping it up. Ke Aloha, Greg Salas, um, they just look solid. But I'm gonna break down the USC game, the Trojans, the Fighting Trojans, yeah. <laughs> And Army, the Black Knights, which, you know, and Colorado. Uh, first off, I want to talk about USC. Uh, um, they actually, they look pretty decent. Other than their young secondary, um, USC came in pretty hungry. But Hawaii just looked solid. I haven't, honestly, I've never, haven't been this excited for a season in a really long time. Um, Brian Moniz. <sighs> I love his hair, bro. I just, I just want to run my fingers through his hair, you know, just the way he he swings it around. It's, <sighs> but other than that, he's Bryant really stepped it up. His uh, even though he started off a little shaky in the game, he 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 came back really strong. Um, the receiving core, all the receivers did good. Uh, Kealoha is he's looking real solid. His uh, his cuts are looking good. His breakaway speed is looking good. His field vision. The only problem I see with KLO, it, which we saw in USC and Army, is that whenever balls get thrown at his face, he tends to drop them with his hands. But KLO, no be scared of balls, bro. Everyone catches balls once in a while. So just go in there and catch those balls with your hands, squeeze it tight, and just run downfield. But other than that, he's, he's one of the top. I know the top three uh, receivers in the nation right now for for receiving yards. So just keep doing what you're doing. Greg Salas, you're looking solid, bro. You just got to um, just keep mixing up the routes and keeping those defenders uh, on their toes because you do a good job. You got the height. You got that um, acceleration speed, and you look solid. Pollard just really impressed me, too. Real shifty. And um, you know UH is looking real good. I I honestly believe they will get far, um, but I'll talk about that towards the end. Um, next thing I would like to talk about is the Army game. I actually watched it on CBS Sports, I believe, like three something up here in North Carolina, and UH came out blazing. Moniz came out swinging his hair like that, and I already knew. You know Moniz, he's a local boy, Lelihu Mules. I knew he was going to come out strong, and he did. They led 21-0 um, at the first quarter, and right there, it's just clicking. They look real solid. Um, I know the three receivers scored off the bat, Keloha, Pollard, and um, what's his name? Bradley, and they just they look real good. Um, once... It, it just seemed like things just really weren't clicking. Um, the first quarter, the defense did real good. It was a three and out for the Army's offense. And I think it was two or three series they stopped them. But other than that, it just things seemed to actually just go downhill toward the second half. Um, I don't know whether it was the momentum or or whatnot. And um, you've seen that turnover at the special teams. Then you've seen the turnover when Bryant Moniz got flipped around, like when Sissy Girl... I couldn't believe that, but um, they scored back to back, and then I think we had another series where they stopped us, and then they scored again, and they just kind of ran it up. But 
UH actually looked really solid. I was quite impressed by um, uh, most of the play calling. And, you know, it came down to Kealoha again. Kealoha dropped, I think it was like a five-yard pass. When he had almost 40 yards, he could have broke free. And, you know, and the thing about it is UH needs to be consistent in whatever they do because I honestly believe this team will get far. Um, defense looks solid. Corey Paredes looked look real good um daily Lyle's a freshman beast uh he's just going in there and he's just tearing guys apart like it's panties you know just ripping them off and he these guys look good a real young team real motivated and i'm i'm just really excited and their next game will be at colorado i think they're gonna actually do really well i'm predicting a 45 28 victory um Colorado, I know they got smashed. I think it was by UCLA this past game or Cal or whatever. I don't know. But I think Hawaii's going to go in there and just totally just destroy them. I honestly believe that. Um, it should be real close. The only thing with local boys is we don't like to travel in the mainland and take it from me. North Carolina, it's crazy. But, um,. I believe they're actually going to do really well. The offense is real underrated. A lot of the experts are saying, I believe we're getting 10 points now, and I'll take it. Uh, if you have money, put it down on Hawaii because it's an easy win, you know. It's like Lao Lao goes to Squid Luau, you know. And um, they're definitely going to win. I honestly, in a, to conclude this whole uh, session with K, I honestly believe UH will go eight and one all the way up to Boise State and the huge factor in that will be consistency dealing with catching passes, um, penalties, how clicking Moniz is with the receivers and if the defense can actually hold um, a lot of running teams and passing teams and whatnot. Um, I honestly believe if we go eight and one and we beat Boise State we'll actually get a BCS bid so it's just been crazy, but uh, I'm going to let you folks go on that note, and you guys just stay up to date on whatever I post and stuff. I'm here in North Carolina, so you guys just got to take your time. You got to relax, enjoy the islands, because we don't, only thing we get up here is fried, fried chicken, and I don't even know, but other than that, you take care, and uh, God bless you guys, and... I love Wine Eye.